all right dudes we made it up to this point here um we're gonna turn back because i actually got work to do so uh yeah we're gonna cut this right short and uh let's roll all right so it is still a little soggy in some areas but and uh kind of muddy in some areas too i don't really know how well these tires are gonna do i already had some slippage on the barzos on slick stuff so probably just take it easy first ride anyways on this bike you know a little soggy there could probably adjust my tire pressures That was a uh, Oh, the bike is so lively, dude. Ah, uh, shit. Wrong line, man. Yep, taking it easy on this bike, man. Still don't know how it performs, dude. Yeah, that was a close one. So far, the bike performs great, but. Every bike has its own characteristics, you know? Oh! Surprisingly, this bike is so nimble, so nice, uh, it rides nicely even for a short travel bike. These tires are good and, and dry, but it struggles in uh, damp conditions. I think most tires would actually. This 
So the gomas actually are gripping rather nicely as the barzos that lose grip in the back but they are grippier than mezcals which I tried for a bit Hey guys, thank you. Anyways, I think we could end this video now, dude. A lot of hikers, a lot of people moving up. So it's kind of hard to get a good, uh, you know, full speed run like before. But uh, the bike, dude, the bike feels pretty good, actually. Um, it's light, it's efficient. Uh, despite it only having like, what is it? 120 and 100 millimeters of travel. Um, it's pretty decent uh, short travel bike, dude. I think I do need better tires, at least for the rear. Um, I might just go Gomas front and rear. Uh, the Gomas are gripping pretty good with lower pressures. Um, somewhat similar to like DHRs, I would say, but the braking traction isn't as great as DHR. But anyways, this bike actually is pretty awesome, dude. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this ride. And until the next adventure, dudes, take care and be safe, dude. Peace.